Hello everybody. Happy Christmas. It's Boxing Day today, St. Stephen's Day. We've just had a lovely full English breakfast. Um, the family, because so the family's still here. They stayed overnight. Still in my Christmas jammies. Shrek, that's Shrek. Grinch Christmas jammies. So I thought I'd just come and do a skate while they're doing all the washing up and things from our breakfast and carry on a little bit with this. Um, mag not magazine, journal that I started to make the other day, if you remember, when I did thinking round the edges. I put a link to that in there. So what have I done since then? I have uh, not done a lot really. I was just testing out some, grunging it up with some charcoal. I was just having a little play with that this morning. And I have also... I'll just sit down. <clears throat> I've also been making these little flowers. I really like those, which I made out of the crepe, vintage crepe paper, this golden colour, which was in this uh, crepe paper sleeve that I'm going to put as part of the journal cover. So I made those little flowers. I will show you how I how I did that um, probably in the next video because I'm not going to use them today I stitched this pocket in so if you saw the video I did on the wax tags this was a practice piece that I was practice on with waxing and different mediums on top uh, to make it so it doesn't crack um, so I made the pocket and then when I emptied the drawer where my challenge was to use the things in my drawer, I had these old Trivial Pursuit cards. So I thought I'm gonna to make today some little tags out of the Trivial Pursuit cards. So the way I'm going to do that is, first of all, I got some uh, dictionary paper and I am just going to take off the white edges. That one's not too bad. Because I want to do everything. Oh, this is a big bang upstairs. That'll be one of my cats. I've got six cats at the moment because my daughter and her husband are here. And they've brought their two cats. We've got four cats. So that's six cats. We've got a dog. And they've brought their dog. So we've got six cats and two spaniels at the minute. Right. So I want to cover these in the dictionary paper each side. But I also, when I join them together to make like a little concertina book, I want the tape that I use to be in this dictionary paper too. So I'm just going to stick some double-sided tape so in theory it's making my own washi tape so I'll put them close together oh I can hear somebody shouting now is it all right so the cats have obviously knocked something off and the room above is my bedroom so it's going to be something knocked off in my bedroom there's nothing precious. I keep all my precious things away, out of the reach of cats. No grandchildren yet. That's something I'm hoping for soon, but we'll just wait and see. My elder daughter is married, lives in Durham. My son, the youngest, is moving out uh, early um, January. Him and his Girlfriend Emma have got their own place. So um, we'll be going down to just the three of us. Me, my hubby and my daughter is training to be a nurse. So she's hoping to probably move out next, the saving up next September when she qualifies. We got the kids bought us um, I hope you've got everything you want <laughs> with the kids bought us a coffee machine it does espresso coffee uh, latte 
so they're busy priming that as we speak. They're all in there. I don't, I don't know how many of them it takes to pry. I'll not put any over that because that's just plain on both sides. So I don't know how many of them it takes to uh, prime a coffee machine, but they're off with it now. So those are there, and then all I'm going to do is just, uh, not that, I'm going to do this, get my ruler again, and turn down, and that's going to be like my washi tape. If you can get one of these metal rulers with like the foam back as well, you know, so the less risk of them moving around when you put them down. That, I've just, I, do you know, I just had a thought then, have I actually turned my video on? My mum's staying with us well and she keeps saying, Where's Sharon? Watching Coronation Street. I said, I'll be in in a minute, Mum. I'm just having my own little 10 15 minute craft meditation time. So, Hubby bought me uh, some hair, new hair straighteners, which is amazing, and a hair curler as well because I. I'm, I'm murder for swapping between straight and curled. So he's bought me those and some beautiful uh, Lush. In the shop Lush, the uh, bath bombs. It smells divine. Kids bought us the coffee machine and all the stuff to go with it. I've got some lovely Yankee candles from uh, a friend at work. My mum bought me my favourite perfume, Cora Mandel by Chanel. And uh, she gave me a nice check as well. I'm thinking, ooh, 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 get this in the bank and then get off to uh, Hobbycraft. We'll be said no, because it's between the two of us. But I'm sure I need a new cutter, so I'll probably go and get myself one tomorrow or the day after. Off to Hobbycraft, hopefully there'll be some sales on. Right, so those are all ready now to be used. So what I'm going to do here is, that's got a nice picture on as well. Oh, and so is that. Right, I'm going to get my glue stick. And I'm going to glue, I'm going to put a good amount of glue on these. And I'm going to glue them on. That one is there. Can you hear my daughter in the background? She's a teacher. She's just got the loudest voice. She has a teacher voice. I'm just going to stick this one on this side purely so I can get that picture. She's actually, uh, she teaches, she's head of early years, so she's got a reception class age four to five, but she has a nursery group as well, who are age two to four. So she does a nursery group, a nursery class and a reception class. So there's her and two teaching assistants. She has just quite a big unit. She used to be a, um, sort of assistant head or something at a school when she lived down here but she just she just didn't want to continue with that just put them there to die she just didn't want to uh do that she wanted to be in the classroom so as you can see i'm just looking if there's any nice pictures on them them are the pictures that i'm gonna keep so yesterday on oh no, our christmas eve my husband did his special oh he makes the most gorgeous ice cream cake so uh he used the dark chocolate and you've taken that off the chocolate and you've just about to put it in the bin and i went no i jumped in 
And I thought I'm going to make something like that. Probably, I don't know whether to make a journal or like a little ephemera holder. I'm not sure, but that's something I've rescued. My mum said, uh, not my mum, my daughter said to me yesterday, you didn't get any cra crafting presents, mum, because last year I got quite a few. So I said, well, I have really, because I've got, um, I've got all the ribbons and things, you know. So both is by the side of me when everyone was undoing the presents. I, um, I'm a little bag and I'm filling it up with all the little bits and pieces and tags and everything. All saved. Just, I should have done this first. Let's just tear this off here. I don't, I didn't need to do that first actually. Don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. Just, I'm just waffling. This hasn't got any pictures on either side, so it doesn't matter where these go. So I've not watched any Christmas films yet. Um, I watched a bit of Great Expectations this morning, but I think it was a 1949 version. So I was watching that with my mum before I went to do breakfast. And I think now they've got on uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. They've been watching the, uh, oh, what's it called? Like from the Harry Potter films um, with the guy in the suitcase and his animals in the suitcase. So this is what we do on Boxing Day. We just chill and watch films and things. Right, so those are all stuck on. And I'm going to get my scissors. I will get the one I did first. To everything. Right, I'm just going to cut these out. I could stitch around them if you wanted to, but I'm not. Now, I'm not going to cut them all out, you'll be pleased to hear. I'm just going to cut out a few. That one I can throw away. I'm just going to cut out a few to make a little book with. Got the carol or holy night just going through my head. I do like that carol. I think it's probably my favourite. What's your what's your favourite carol? I hate it though, because I went to Alexa. Oh, Alexa, you know, play some Christmas carols. And she saw the first one comes on, away in a manger. Lovely. Then we had, I think it was all little town of Bethlehem. And then like Frosty the Snowman. And um Alexa, that is not a Christmas carol. I think sometimes people just get songs and carols. I've just said in some of these better pieces. They just seem to get song, Christmas songs and Christmas carols mixed up. What do you think? Right. So I've got four there. Last night I was watching uh, our videos on what to do with scraps, so that'll be my next project. Right, so we've got a nice picture there. Uh, what is that? Insignias of the Order of Bath. So what I'm going to do is stick the other side on to this. This is when they get more difficult to see. Yeah, so I wanted this purely to be made out of, every part of it, to be made out of this uh, dictionary page. I got this dictionary courtesy of my hubby. It's been in, in his wardrobe for years and I'm like, do you really, really need that? Do you really need this? So the answer was no, so he gave it to me. So three on that one, just one more. Now I'm not bothered whether they're the right way up, sideways, upside down, what have you. It doesn't bother me at all. 
some people might like to have it all the right way up. That's your choice. Right, so now I'll cut these four out. Now you could, if you wanted to, stitch around the edge of all these, which I might do afterwards, I'm not sure. Could round the corners if you want to. I'm just going to save that number 76, quite like that. trying to do some cutting out this morning you know and you just can't cut straight and I'm snookered because I've not got my cutting machine I've got the world's biggest guillotine I'm frankly using it because I don't want to cut my fingers off so because I've not got my cutter because I lost the blade so I don't know if I can just get a new blade or whether it's a new cutting machine I me, it'll be a new cutting machine because what girl doesn't like new uh, craft craft toys? Oh, did you did you? We did the game accentuate yesterday. That was funny. While we're having our dinner, we'd eaten right up to our dessert and we were like, oh, we had white chocolate and whiskey, bread and butter pudding, which was delicious, but we needed an hour, so we played the game Accentuate. What a laugh. What a laugh. Right, let's get these the right way that we want them now. So I'm just getting them the right way that I want them. Somebody bobbing their head in. So I like, oh, see that one's got the flowers on both sides. I think I might have that on the front, followed by that, followed by that, followed by that. So that means they go like this. So then you get some of your double-sided, newly made, washi tape that just comes off there so i'm just going to put it on there this is where it ends up sticking to your nails and things right now this piece is upside down compared to this piece but that doesn't bother me and i'm going to stick that on there, just cut that bit off, and then this piece I'm going to stick on there, and then on this side I'm going to stick, do the same, stick it on this side, down the same, right, let's get the next one. Oh, that's a bit, uh, that is, I can cut straighter than that. That is a bit crooked. Right, so I've got the next piece. And let's just peel it off. They're all trying to make, make me now apply to uh, go on the traitor. Did you watch the traitor just before Christmas? They all said I'd be a good traitor. <laughs> I don't know why. It shows what they think of me, doesn't it? Obviously not that much, enough just to be a traitor. But uh, it looks like a really good, fun thing to do. I need to get my little trusty knife out for this one. Yeah, the traitor looks like a really fun thing to do. So, But you have to be available for six weeks in the summer. Well, I, I can never guarantee that. Because we like to just say, oh, right, we're going... Uh, going on holiday now and just go especially in the UK if we can see the weather forecast and that it's going to be nice we just want we just want to go let's put that on there and 
this one. And there, I'm just leaving a little gap, probably uh, an eighth of an inch or so in between. That's, let's do that. That's was just not set right. Actually, I could just fold that up, can't I? There, it's better. The final one. this off yeah we played um oh, i've got this other game mind games or something it's called and it had really sort of oh, cheesy sort of well it had some really complicated mathematical questions oh, i just want to come off but it also had some like really cheesy uh what is correct? The yolk of an egg. The whites of an egg are yellow or the white of an egg is yellow. Well, the answer is it's neither because it's a yolk that's yellow. You know, those sort of trick questions and things. So, yeah, we had a laugh doing that. Which is heavier, a ton of feathers or a ton of lead? Well, yeah, both the same because they're both a ton. It takes so many days for a man to dig a hole, six men to dig six holes. How long would it take them to dig half a hole? Well, it wouldn't because you can't dig half a hole. The hole is a hole, isn't it? Right, so they're on there. I'll just get my scissors. I suppose if you'd have wanted to, the washi tape that you've made there she could have inked the edges there we go so that is all um the same paper i think it looks really rather nice so then along your lines that just falls like that it makes this little book so this little book is going to go in there. I really like that. I am going to put some um, gesso on, I think, and ink the edges too. Let's just do that. Let's get the ink. Here, she says, Oh, we'll use the rusty one. I quite often have my, my little things, my little um, <laughs> foam just at the bottom, stuck on the bottom. But no, so I'm just going to go all around and rust all my edges. <clears throat> so this evening as me and my hubs and my mum because everybody else is going out visiting in-laws and what have you my children's in-laws so tonight uh, it's just me my mum and my hubs so we're going to a local restaurant it's just down the road and we're going to have a nice meal and they do the most amazing cocktails and my favorite is the uh, rhubarb and custard cocktail we're looking forward to that i don't know what to eat that probably do you know I'll probably just go for a nice chicken caesar salad or something she says until she gets there it's just like i'd never stop eating phase isn't it Right, so that's done. So I'll just get my gesso and a dry brush. Here's my white acrylic gesso. Ooh. 
because I was using some grey with it the other day. I think I'm ready for some new. I don't know whether to make my own or to buy some. I've seen so many videos on making your own. I'll just give that a stir. So then with my dry brush, I'm just going to dry brush it. Then it can be written on. And this dries, does dry pretty quickly, so I'm just going to turn it over. Not going to be too fussy about drying it off. It's still in the screen, yep. I don't know why I'm talking quietly. I think I do. I think it's so that I don't attract any attention and nobody knows where I am. Hopefully this year I'll be getting my own craft room in a lovely shed outside. Either that or we'll be moving this next year. So, right, let's just do this. I'm just going to do a quick blaster dry. I'm not going to de decorate it much because I'm aiming for a not really decorated look with this book. do this and there it is the little book made out of made out of scrap really all playing cards trivial pursuit cards and dictionary pages a bit of gesso a bit of glue a bit of double-sided tape and bob's your uncle i like that So now I'm going to put this into here, into there, she says, there it goes, and that's another little notebook within the notebook. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be back and we can finish grunging up the front and stick the, this in. The signature maybe put some of these little flowers in i'll show you how i made them i made this little flower as well out of scraps of um all my fibers i made that one too i'm going to make some more of those and uh, i'm going to make some ruffle and that really is all i want in this book i don't want anything else so i'm sharon this is be divine vintage just a quick boxing day craft and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.